Hello everyone, welcome to JobSkillsShare.org, our help desk administrator lab course. This is a first introduction video, but before I go into details, I would like to show you guys how did I came to this page. I clicked on JobSkillsShare.org and I clicked on this tab, Become an IT Pro through Hands-On Labs. Then you go and read about the instructions and what's included in labs and all that. And then I clicked on this lab, which is Help Desk Administrator Hands-On Lab Course. Then you get to the checkout process and you see what's included in this. So you'll see all these courses. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. That is included in this lab. But sometimes it could be out of stock, so meaning you have to just put yourself in a waiting list. So once it's available, we'll send you an email that, hey, lab is available for you. You have 24 hours to get this lab. And then you can find more information. Like I said, we have some screenshot demos to show the whole checkout process. What happens when you pay? You get the page. You see everything like passwords and VPN software downloading and all that stuff. So... Now I'm going to go back to the lab. This is the lab course uh, front page where you can basically click on continue course. You'll get automatic access after the checkout process and then you see some information like curriculum. What's going to be like this is the first video that we are creating right now which is the lab introduction. Then you have how to install VPN and web access and so on. So this is where we are right now. We went to the course and now we are in the first uh, lecture of this lab it is going to be a video only and me talking of course so lab introduction who should take or use this hands-on lab course IT individual students meaning you're in a student right now you're going to college you're going to university or anywhere you're going to some uh, you know training center and you want to become that IT pro this is great lab for you because now you are going to learn hands-on without spending money on equipment so you have seven days full access on the things that we basically taught you in other courses recorded videos with the recorded videos and uh, you know we will say hey okay you need an active directory and then people say how do I get active directory how do I install this and where do I get it how much RAM do I need what kind of systems now all that are gone all you need is to get the lab and you can directly uh, work on it. The great thing about this lab is that we are doing videos in a, in a learning format. So we're not just saying, oh, you know, these are the resources and just go ahead and watch one of the YouTube videos and do your lab. It's not going to work like this. It's going to be more of like you are starting an IT job. And now we are giving you some scenarios, giving you some image where you are being hired by us and then we are giving you scenarios and that's how the labs are going to be so then when you go to work you feel like you have already done this you are already like done the entry level stuff and all you have to do is to set up your computer and just manage things from that computer that's how it's going to work in this lab this is great lab for IT professionals new IT professional meaning you just land the job and now you're looking for skills you want to learn things because this is your job every day you have to go in the morning and you think you're gonna get something that you are a little confused or you don't have a confidence to work on that type of issues so why not just try to be more proactive IT do things ahead of the time so when you get uh, you know these type of calls you're so ready for it right so these labs are going to be great because now you're not working on a production systems of course nobody would want you to mess around with the active directory nobody would want you to scan systems without their permissions or break things and that can cause a lot of issues you know and that's gonna give you more stress so this is a great scenario for you to build your own uh, you know almost identical uh, type of uh, network that you are in and you can do things in this lab so in this lab we have already created a lab scenario for you so the way it's going to work is that jobskillshare.org is an organization we're looking for a help desk position so this is kind of the skills that we're looking for you went in there you applied for this job and you got the job you get the infrastructure overview and then manager or system administrator provided you with your Windows 10 admin machine and then after that you're on your own so what happens in reality let's talk about that a little bit because I want to give you some kind of image and this image might be very simplified version 
of any company network. It could be very detailed, advanced, it could be nothing. It could be just simply switches, not even configured. So in a reality, you're like this. You probably have taken some courses. Maybe you even took our course in the labs and everything. You have those skills with you. But in reality, when you go to the, the company, they have like their building. They have different teams in there. Now, I'm talking about mid-sized company or maybe some company that have a nice IT organization going on. So, for example, this is a company. They have firewalls and all the security stuff. IT security team is in charge of that. There are probably two guys. Then there are two network engineers. They work on the networking stuff. Then there are some system administrators. They work on servers, applications. Uh, working with sites and stuff like that, sometimes databases and with their teams and stuff like that. And then they have one help desk team, they have two, three people in help desk. And people call them for issues and stuff. So this is what you're doing, you know, you're not actually creating the whole infrastructure when you uh, take these courses and trying to get the entry level job. You're not supposed to do these things unless, like I said, you know, it's it, it's not like, you know, when I say it's not gonna, it's not gonna be like that. It's not gonna be that. Of course, it's gonna be different when someone land a job and they become the one-man IT person, and then then do doing everything. It's just that's just not the right way. But like I said, you can expect anything in IT. But that's how mostly people are. That's how you get paid for. That's how market kind of labels your uh, entry-level positions in this way. Like you know, they 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 they're they're saying that oh there's already a whole infrastructure you're not all doing all that you're not getting paid for that stuff you're getting paid for this stuff where you're going to join another staff member or maybe you become the help desk guy and then you're going to manage users computers desktops uh, you know equipments over there inventorying stuff and helping users with their devices and all that kind of stuff that's what you're going to start with this lab is so great that you know people are not just going to be stuck in one thing like small things a lot of people when they start help this the second step is that they want to advance to these careers because of more money because different type of skills you know some people even love to stay in help this they become more advanced let's get it even more real you know when I talked about these firewalls and these switches and routers this is usually in a data center like this so you have like you know all the servers right here uh, firewalls in there everything is in there some of the wiring this is pretty messed up wiring right here but um, you know for example like these you know these are different router switches and stuff like that some AC stuff like that to make sure it's uh, cold enough and all the servers Mac servers different type of servers right here all the servers that are not in use and new stuff you know keyboards and everything now so this is what I was talking about that all of this right here the network and servers as you can see right in front of you uh, firewalls that was right in the data center this someone else could be working on it for example like IT security guys uh, the system administrator guys right here but you your job as a help desk administrator you're working with user computer desktop and things like that now it depends on the company and the way they do things but most of the time it's like keyboards assembling wires um, when you get the new stuff like desktops in uh, in the boxes like that unboxing them and um, but taking it out and going to the user uh, you know and working on something that's not working for example these computers are not working keeping all the equipments together so you don't have to look around for some small things working in a lab environment sometimes working on the projectors uh, and printers sometimes working on the phone systems and of course there could be many other things like just working with a the user their equipments so let's go back to the video now you have made a scenario where you have 30 users you have one network engineer who's going to be in charge of you and then you're basically managing your stuff because the network engineer job is not going to be managing users and computers and printers and all that kind of stuff he's going to work on other stuff like networking switches servers and all that stuff so you're going to be in charge of these stuff so the way we are going to train you is that from very entry level, even if you don't have any information, we're going to train you about the process, you know, what important things you need to learn as a help desk. Then we will show you 
that by taking our courses online, the other courses that are we have pretty big courses and some online information that is pretty great outside, we're going to give you all that. But first, you'll start hands-on from labs. So at least in the seven days, you'll be so prepared that you can actually land a job, like an entry-level job. Once you land a job, it is actually up to the company. You know, most of the time they have their own products. They will train you. But if you know all of this, they already know that you have this IT mindset and you're willing to learn and you already have skills. So, for example, in this lab, you're going to do Active Directory Managing Users. These are very basic uh, skills that everybody should know. How to add a user, how to delete a user, how to, uh, sorry, how to reset their passwords, how to change their titles, how to change their uh, room names from Active Directory, how to manage computers, you know, single single computers when a, when a staff call, they have issue, you have virus, uh, you know, something is going on, upgrades, updates, all that stuff printers, printer network printers, all those wireless printers, databases, some of the basic databases stuff not too advanced, managing file servers, giving people permission, somebody lost a file, recovery, uh, documentations, finding IT tools to make your job easy, meaning there are some free tools that you can find to, to you know, automate processes, managing tickets, inventory, stuff like that and then software deployment, computer deployment, and security patches and update computers. So some of them are a little advanced. The reason we are showing you this stuff is that when you do all of this in this lab, you're going to be doing your job very easily, but at the same time you have uh, advanced information where you can move up to the system administration job right here. And that's where you will move on to servers and then move on and to other positions. So this is the introduction guys. and quickly I am going to cover these two sections in here and then I'm gonna make another video for first lab which is going to be a full recorded video for the lab hands-on and then you will do your hands-on lab on the system so let's go to the second section which is how to set a VPN connection on Windows OS now this is important information right here for people if you would like to get a fast connection uh, for your computer let's say to the labs then you would prefer uh, taking the this one so let's say for example um, this is more of like you know you when you do a checkout process you're going to get a file and you will download it and you'll run it on your computer what will happen is that let me show you right here I we have a screen uh, let me go back in here just to kind of like start it from the beginning so you see right here, you know, you'll you'll get like you know, um, check out process. You will get the file, you will extract it, and then after that, you will run the VPN, and then it basically it's gonna automatically connect you to our servers. You will get the IP address, and that is a way to do things quickly. Now let me tell you one thing: when it comes to reality, most of the companies use VPN system to connect to their systems. Many IT administrators help these guys. They use VPN to connect to their networks. They don't use web-based systems. So you are actually starting from this lab. You're actually doing a very realistic approach towards your own learning. So that's why I say you know VPN is the best way because it's going to be very fast. And I'm going to demonstrate that in a second right now. The second way is going to be if you are not sure, you know, you're uh, you're a little bit worried about getting a software installed on your computer even though we show you how to uninstall it from your system right here but let's say you know you're not you don't want to go through the software stuff you can also do the web based um, access to the the web uh, server which is going to be your master server so when you uh, when you basically purchase the lab you're going to get a web access so like say for example right here login you're going to get a username you're going to get a password in the checkout you can click on connect and then you connect to the master server and then you can open the hands-on lab which you can do it uh, from directly from the VPN which you don't need this web base then you just need this file or when if you don't want to do that then you'll get this um, through the web you know you log into this this server and then you can open this file meaning you don't have to download anything this is for people who would like to you know um, not go through the the whole VPN stuff but I really do recommend VPN because that's how the reality is you know people use VPN this is how the checkout process works you can see right here you put the username um, email and password 
then you'll click on connect here and after that uh, you'll connect it you'll be connected to the master server and after master server you'll see that uh, you can basically um, connect to, to the lab right here so let me just fast forward a little bit so there you go you, you're in the master server you click on that and then you'll click on the hands-on lab right there it will open up the lab like this and then after that you can access the computers now um, I am already on the VPN so let me just go down and open the lab right here this is how the VPN looks because it's so direct there's no web base it's direct access meaning I already have the IP address assigned from the server all I need to do is when you get this in your checkout process you will get this uh, file you will double click on that and it will open the file right now so there you go and this is it servers right here this is why I say why it's going to be very good uh, you know practice for you hands-on like this because you're directly working on the servers you can even RDP to the servers directly by using your RDP so if I click on next this is your domain controller you're gonna get access to that in this lab and then you're going to get access to the app server where you will install all the application tools Spiceworks inventory softwares anything that we think it's just going to you know going to help you in your job uh, we, you will have it over here okay so this is the domain control this is the app server uh, this is your Windows 10 machine and this is your Windows 7 machine for staff so the, these two machine right here are for practice this is going to be your Windows 10 machine where you will configure it for your for other practice like you know connecting to Active Directory so you don't have to log into servers in most cases real world cases server administrators or network engineers will not let you use servers right they will they will have you given access to your computer right here and then you can you will find like add-ons and they connect to your uh, domain controllers and you can manage Active Directory from your computer but they will not let you get access directly here so in this lab you you actually have access to these two uh, servers because we want you to know things how did it actually get you know how do you install Active Directory in the beginning of course you're not going to be doing that in your environment but at least you will know that when you're working on your computer you know that how did it really happen so that gives you that system admin level of skills so when you go to job interviews or maybe at your work uh, you're pretty much you know in a very good, good position to advance your career so there you go guys it's so easy to access like this perfect for lab scenario uh, domain controller app server help desk administrator Windows 7 machine to test and we can add more machines but for this lab these are the only machines that we have so that's it see you guys in another lab real-world lab uh, in the video right here so